Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to add materials to our lightsaber and before we do that we need to check the reference images. Now here is a new one of mine and here's the one that I was using for reference has been kind of battle damaged and weathered. Now that would look more interesting but in order to do that we would have to um, unwrap some things and add some textures and I'm not sure we want to take it that far for this right now. So um, I think we're just going to add new materials. But if you look here, they are different. Like this is sort of a aluminum and this is kind of chromey and this is sort of copper. So, um, so I think we can add two or three different materials on it and have it look pretty nice. So let's start with the D-ring. Select it right click and select assign new material. We're going to use Arnold to render so use an AI standard surface material and let's go ahead and delete the history of that D-ring so we can get to the material easily and name this one Chrome and I'm going to give it a suffix and then we're going to use the presets here and there is a preset for Chrome right here and that replaces that with Chrome now while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the channel channel box and hide my reference image. And then I'm going to create a plane and scale it up so that I have a surface to sit on. I'm going to move my lights, oops, move the plane down a little bit so my lightsaber is not embedded in it. Make it a little bigger. Then I'm going to put an Arnold skylight in there so we can see the effect and change to the Arnold viewport renderer. Okay, so that looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to delete this skylight here and use the actual Arnold physical sky. I think I can get better reflections and get a better look at how that chrome metal looks. I like that quite a lot. So for the other ones, I think I'm going to use an aluminum material and the preset here is brushed metal. It looks a little more like aluminum. I'm going to rename that. And I think these should also be that brushed aluminum. So I'm going to shift right, I'm going to select them, right click. And then this time I'm going to add an existing material. These little buttons here should be plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the history while I'm here for those. And uh, right click. These are going to be black. plastic. I'm going to make it black but not quite totally black. This thing should be maybe some kind of brass color so I'm going to click it and uh, assign new material here. We don't have brass, we do have gold. So I'm going to select brushed metal for this. And I'm going to try and change the color of it. I'll leave that alone for now. For these, one is supposed to be uh, red, so I'm going to make it red plastic.
and I'm going to make it a little translucent by giving it some transmission. And we'll do the same for this one. Make this green. Now with this one, I'm going to assign the existing black plastic material, but then I'm going to switch to face mode and turn off smooth preview. Turn off Arnold for a minute. And I'm going to select all of these outer rings here. And I'm going to assign the, sorry, going to assign the chrome material to that. And that's what that looks like. Looks pretty nice. This piece here is, sorry, aluminum. And this is going to be a new material, and this is aluminum too. This one here is going to be copper, so let's um, assign new material. And find the copper preset. I know that there's a copper preset. And there you have it. Lightsaber with materials. It looks pretty good, I think. In the last two videos of this project, what we're going to do is set up the studio lighting, and we're also going to add the... Well, there may be three videos. We're going to set up the studio lighting, we're going to add the blade and animate the blade, and then we're going to add the glowing post-processing effects to the blade. And I'll see you in the next video.